Hello, everybody. It's me. <laughs> Who else could it be? Well, I'm coming on a Friday instead of, like, a Thursday. Um, I'm so tired from Wednesday when I got me all stabbed. It's been, it's been, it's been a funny old week, put it that way. Things have, like, not panned out and it's just been, well, things have panned out, but it's just been funny. Um... Monday, I got that great news that my cancer had not progressed. I was ecstatic, honestly. I was practically skipping the office. Um, I was Tuesday, had me all stabbing, and I went to Aldi. And I didn't end up babysitting, so I had a Tuesday afternoon to myself, so I just sat in the house and thought that. It was great. Uh, Wednesday, I had to go to Maggie's. I went to the Maggie's centre. And then I had me all stabbed. And I'd been feeling mm -hmm. tight. I went there uh, shopping with my sister. Went to Kinky Park. Didn't get much. You know what I mean? Didn't didn't really get much. Um, yeah. Uh, like I say, went to Kinky Park. And I normally go to hers on a Wednesday. For some people, but I was so tired. I just come home, so that didn't like goes normal. You know what I mean? Sammy cover. Thursday, I had that tooth out down there at the bottom, the big one. So now I've got a big hole in me jaw. Yeah. So I've got to be careful. I've been like mouthwashing it with salty water, put a little bit of me dis, you know me me. Mouth washing as well at the same time, so been trying to cook that. Didn't had to wait a few hours till I could have coffee things. So, and then as I was sitting waiting for the dentist in the room, I got a message, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this over and done with because it's a bit upsetting for us. When my friends from the, you know, I went to this retreat a few years ago and we're still all good friends and we talk every day. Um, one of my friends, Linda, who, who I met there, um, she's been told it's, it's the end of her life now. You know, it's just, uh, I live as failed, basically, and... They've said weeks, but she thinks it's it's not going to be weeks. It's going to be days. So I'm trying to like get wrap my head round it. You know what I mean? It's a shock. You know we expect these things with this. This 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 is the nature of the beast, basically. I don't know why it's affecting us. Cause I don't know why. Cause I know that, but it's. It's just that you meet these women and you make friends with them and all of a sudden you start to go. And it's awful. You know what I mean? It It is really, really awful. You're like another like mother, sister, grandmother, gone. Through this fucking shitty bastard disease. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to get out of my system. I'm really fucking pissed off about it. It's, it's not so much sad, it's angry. You know what I mean? I'm angry at it. I feel re <sighs> So now I'm she's coming to the end of her life. Um Well we're all sad about it. That'll be the third one this year. No. Second this year. We had lost one last year as well. Um but I've no I I've lost more than that, though. You know what I mean? I've lost, like, a few women who were um, in my support group when I first started. A couple of them with that have gone. One, she had, she had quite a few. She had a few kids, and uh, she went, she was only in, in her 40s. So, it's the nature of the beast. I'm getting it out there because I've got a big fucking hole to do. <laughs> so, it's... 
done and dusted. I've said what I want to say about it. I'm not going to say fuck all now. Right, I'm going to get on with this all because it's quite big. I beat the high street the day. I've got a little bag of shopping from Sainsbury's, just a, a bit. Um, I got a couple of things from one of the cha two of the charity shops because charity shops on the high street are shite. They're so expensive, so I end up not buying much. Um, I've got like stuff from Shein. I've got a little Timu haul. I've got a Primark haul. I've got a few bits that I got from Home Bargains and Poundland on Wednesday. So you see, I've got quite, it's all together. It's not that much, but well, it didn't look that much, but it's built up. So I'm going to get on with it. I'm going to get on. I'm going to show you the couple of bits I got from the high street. I had to go down the high street the day to do some banking, of course. So I popped in a uh, Marie Curie. I think it was. No, no, no. This was Scope. Was it Scope? Yes, this was Scope. And I bought this dress. I like the flowers on it and I like the colour and it's got pockets. Anything with pockets is great in my thing. It comes just below the knee. Or I think it'll come just below the knee on me. Um, it's a size 20. I'm an in between in between 18 to 20 but i think that'll be nice with a denim jacket white trainers or even tights and shoes and a cardigan that in the autumn so it's that um yes i got this that was six 75 minutes from two let's go yeah, i'll just put this back down because it's getting me it's getting on me wick and then I got this T-shirt. It's massive. It's an M and S one. It's hardly even. It's a V-neck. It's hardly even being. I don't think it's even hardly being worn. And that was four pound for a T-shirt. Like I see, the expensive. And I really like the sleeves. Are sort of bat wingy. I thought that may be nice for me holiday because I do like red as a colour. I love red. I thought that would be nice and great for my holiday. You know, if I'm just lounging about and with a pair of jeggings or something. So, or even when it's for bed. <laughs> I wear all my t all my t shirts end up with being worn for bed. Um. Yes, yeah, so I've been to the high street this morning. I am feeling a bit knackered, like the a. Uh, Tablets are really starting to kick in, you know, like the injections, and I've restarted me uh, therapy again. So every three weeks, I have to take a break for a week, and then I have to restart it all. And the reason why you take the break for is to let your blood recover and things like that, and build back up and just make yourself healthy. And look at the hair. I need this cut. I need a dye. Never mind cut. I think I need to get it now. I need to get a bottle of dye and uh, do it, cause it's uh, look at the grey. I'm, I'm like the fucking badger man. Look at that. Oh. right. This is a little bit of stuff I got from Sainsbury's. I didn't even think I was talking to you there. Um, I got a green and. I got a green and a red pepper, and they were. I don't normally go to Sainsbury's because they're fucking expensive. 59 page for a pepper. About the same as what you were paying Asda and in Aldi, so. There's a green pepper. Thingy of cottage cheese. I'm definitely going to try and make that cottage cheese flatbread, and when I do, I'll tell you what it tastes like. Because it's supposed to be nice. Can't do it on Monday because I think I'm going to town. It all depends how I feel. I've got to get some. I still got to get some trainers and that yet. I'm gonna get it all in. Uh, one pound thirty for cottage cheese. Everything's gone up. Uh, some baby from tomatoes. I was running a bit low, so a bit ninety nine p. Practically the same price as um. 
some strawberries and they actually do look quite decent. I do like the strawberries from Sainsbury's. These were two fifty, so a little bit more expensive. Some red seedless grapes. I think I've got grapes in, you know. Uh, one eighty, about twenty p, ten, ten to twenty p more expensive than the normal gets. So not, it's not, it's not horrendous. Sixty one p for some baking powder because I'm running out. Even though I don't really bake for me baked oats. Um, this was two forty nine, and that is some Raz Al Halut. It's like. I think it's Raz El Hanut. It's it's like a Middle Eastern spice, and I use it when I do spicy couscous and stuff. And it was two um, forty nine, I think. So that was quite expensive. I wouldn't say that. Got some tender stem broccoli, and that was broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Why can I just... Ah, oh, there I got it. That was £1.60. So, about 30p there and I was paying for an Audi. And then I got some 5% fat mint and this was 3 49 I think they're trying to compete with Audi. You know, like... But I do like a package like this. I think it's a much better weight package in it. Less plastic. It's It just... I think it lasts longer. This has got quite a good date on it. So that lot come to da, 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 £15.92 for not much. I remember a few years ago, £15 will get you so will get you two bags of stuff. Now it's only one. And not even a full one at that. So thank you, fucking inflation. <laughs> Dear me, dear me, oh god, right, um, I'm going to do the, this is, I had to buy a new bag as well, I like these bags, these bags are only, this is a pound, I like the sort of cap kids in these type of style of it, like the thingy, so this is the stuff I got from Home Bargains and... Land. I didn't get much. Um, got this from Home Bargains. It was a pound. I need new grate. I hunted everywhere for my grate the other day. Couldn't find it. Got my grate machine out. It was a fucking parcel shite. So that'll be going in the bin. I bought one of them grate machines. You stick it on your bench and you like it's got the cylinders that you in like put in and you like attach a hand. You feed the stuff in the grate. It's absolutely shite. I think it's because it was a shite one anyway. It was only a tenner when I bought it, so I think it's my own fault. Um, let's see. Um, I got. I also got this from. Poundland, and it was supposed to be four. I got for two. It's just a t-shirt. It's actually quite nice on. I, I'd give it a try on. And it was quite nice. I did buy a couple of other things, but I gave them to my daughter for the bang because I bought them for the, the little screaming skull. Um, one pound for some batteries, which I needed. Um, and a pound for the little thingy and a chalk pen. Now, the reason why I need this chalk pen is for this restaurant, Boohoo, and I'll explain it to you. Wait, I see. What it is, is it needs a couple of poppers on because it's a wrap dress, but it's a true wrap. And what it is, is I'm going to put it on and mark out where I, put, where I need to sew the poppers. So I've got a, a good idea. So that's what that's for. Um, and I've got some of these these are pounds. these are frog stenders i always need some i'm always losing them i haven't got big tits right so sometimes i use a maximizer bra just to fill out a dress that's nice and it's like like this one from boho it's a bit baggy on the top 
but if I put my maximizer bra on with it, it honestly it makes my boobs look like they're gonna hit me fucking chin, mate. But I need this because it's too tight if I don't have like an extender on. I've got the one to the three on, I haven't got one of these ones with the two, like that. So I got that, that was a pound. Right. My stuff from home bargains. There was more stuff, but I pulled it away. There was a couple of things for Christmas, but I put away and top my wardrobe, but I couldn't be able to go and get them out, sorry. Um, I got some creases. This is the tea on holiday with it. Even though the holiday, the ship has got laundry with an iron and that. People swear by this for shirts and things. So I'm going to take this release. And I had a hell of a job finding it. That was, I think that was £2.50. This was £2. I'm going to give myself a mask before I go. A couple of days before I go, I'm going to do like a mask. And this is a vitamin C brightening mask, which I do like the vitamin C one. This was £2. Um, I got some toothbrush cases. Beige for him? No, pinky beige, blue for him. These were 39p each. I thought it'd be handy. I found this. Now, I have tried loads of other smoothing and shine serums. And I know this is only cheap. This is like £2. But it's the one that works the best for me. So I was so glad when Home Bargains had it back in. So, yay. I mean, I've got ones that are like six, seven pound and they're no good. Now, I've, I've broke a couple of cups over the past couple of weeks, which I'm upset about. But I had to replace one, so I bought this mug for two ninety nine. is Isn't it beautiful? Like, I love this pa pattern. Love this pattern in curtains. I've got, the curtains I've got up now are lovely, but they're very, 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 very dark. <laughs> But like a Ruskin pattern and really nice. But I do like and it's got the gold edge and it's like like pink inside. So that was two ninety nine. And the last thing is me mouthwash. And that was all I got from Poundland and Home Bargains. Like I say, I didn't get much. I was too tight, I couldn't be bothered to hunt around, you know what I mean? Like, I normally hunt through like the, you know, especially when I'm in home bargains. I normally hunt round the, the skincare aisle in that a bit more because you normally get some really good like skincare things that are so much cheaper there. Than what there would be, like, see, so went to boots, things like that. So, and they're actually quite nice. I've got, I've got like um, a roll up on my eye. I keep it in the fridge and I put it on on night time. It's lovely. It's um, bio bean. It's like a serum. It's really nice. Right. So, I've get on with the the. Primark, but and there's a big bag. I had to buy a new bag for it. this. Was one? I think this was one fifty. It's a lovely bag, so I'm going to keep it. I've been late. I'm sorry if it's in the way. <laughs> I think I'm going to be uh, thinking. I don't know why they put them all in bloody. Ah, I got this dress. It was on sale. It's blue it's long what can i see it's v-neck it's got knee buttons on it's got a belt i can't even, it's a bit creased because it's been in the bag and it is an extra large so it's a size 18 to 20 which is my size and it was seven pound so it was a bargain so it's got like little puff sleeves which i'm not a big fan like elasticated sleeves but, hey-ho, it's quite long and it's lovely. So, 
got that. That was seven pounds. That's nice. Then I got this. Oh man, it's what the hell? I'm finding stuff. I've got. Oh, I've got to take the dock for this because it's. <laughs> I hate them when they give us hangers. I absolutely hate it. I got this and I don't know what, how much it was because I've ripped the fucking tag off. I think it was on sale anyway. I think it was only a few quid. It's like a very light summer blouse. It's got the tie so you can pull it. Like that. Eh, like that. It's an extra large. That's a bit better. I'd wear that. It's a lovely pattern. I love the pattern. And it's a, bit, it's a little bit on the short side. But with a vest top under. I do like the sort of, like, I would say, quite boho type. And I do like that vibe sometimes. I do like really bright colours and bright patterns. Um, I got a Rolling Stones t-shirt. This is for my holiday. For when I go out walking. When I go walking after midnight. I don't hope I won't get fucking monetized. Slapped on the wrist by bloody YouTube for singing that. I shouldn't. Um, I hope not. This is like the Rolling Stones one. It's just the Primark. Well, it's like the Primark. And that was £12. Oh, and it's very, very big. Which is the way I like them. Don't say out about that. I can... I know what he's thinking when I'm that, like that. Um, I've got some, a pair of anti chafing shorts. Extra large black ones. Basically chub rub shorts. I normally get them from Snag. Which is a good brand to get from. But I bought them from there and these were £3.50, so not too bad, actually. Um, what else is in here? Now, my sister's seen this and she knows I'm a big fan of Frida Kahlo. I've been a fan for years, even before she blew up in, like, her, her pictures everywhere now and that. I've been a fan since I was, like, in my early 20s. Always like Frida Kahlo and I found this bag. And you're going to see from my Shane haul that I do like Frida Kahlo. How much is this for? This was four pound and a fourth. This tote bag, I love it. It's it's beautiful. Got big handles. I'm thinking about this one. It'll be great for putting me meds and things like that. A spare in my laptop, not my laptop, but my tablet and my cords for when I'm on my holiday. So. That's that, because it's quite long. So, that'll be done for that. Um, I bought another bag for my holiday. This one, um, this was 10. And it's just a little thingy bag. Nothing special. Nothing to put, like, my documents, things like that in. My phone. Uh, perhaps, like, a little charger or something in it. Bits and bobs, basically, tape with this. It's got a decent strap, but I don't like the strap, so I will change the strap. I've got, like, different straps, so I can change it up a bit. And I bought these sandy dappers, as we would call them. And these were, these are size 6. I normally take them, but these are quite, quite a good fit on the 6. And these were £10. They're a bit like fake uh, Converse. But I do like these because these are like a leather. So they'll keep a bit cleaner, better. So I'm going to... I think I'll probably wear these on the way down with a dress. Perhaps that t-shirt dress I bought you the other day from Asa because that's really nice. And my denim jacket over it. And I'm still looking for my little pack of Mac type thing. With it. Um, <laughs> you can't laugh at these. Now, I bought these and these were £2 reduced from 7 And these are, you know, the rubbers. 
feels lovely and comfy. I thought these would be great for if I go to the pool, things like that, just on deck because we've got good soles. So that's what these are. They only have them in the beach. But for £2, I wasn't grumbling. Anything else? Um, I'm putting everything away. So I bought a lip gloss because I've got a really good Bobby Brown one. But I can't find it at the minute. But I thought I'd get that. I like that colour. It's quite a neutral colour, which I like. So I don't wear a lot of makeup. And when I go, I'll be putting a bit on for the night time in a bit of lip gloss and in a boat. Uh, hydrating facial mist. I thought I might give that a go. Always could do with some hydration. Right, I'm just going to stick these back in the bag so that everything's all tidy. We can see what well, colour of shame you're going to piss yourselves laughing. <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> you see, you won't wear that. I fucking will, though. I'm just sticking all these in this Primark bag. I need to stop packing the suitcase, actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know this stuff. I told you, even don't know what I'm taking. Well, so. I'll keep them out because I'll put them away. It's like, what the... Right, this is the only one available. I did get another dress which I sent back. And this is the one I got. This is going to be for the night time. For the celebration night. It's sparkly. And you can't really tell because it's open at the minute. But it's a wrap dress. And this was... Say about 40 quid and that was in the sale but it's a large one it's size 18 and it's a very very it's not much room on the wrap which i was really surprised because they're normally very very given but i can get away with it i've got ways and means big stomachy holding in it as that helps a lot which i need to get a new pair so uh, it's a size 18, as you can see. It's got the high, so it is a true wrap. So it wraps over. The belt goes through a little hole. That's a bastard to find mine because it's tiny. And then you just wrap it around and tag it. So at the top here, yeah, it's a bit gapy, if you know what I mean. If I, you can. So what I'm going to do is put some pop on on. Because I can hand so no bother. And I bought some poppers and the black so you won't see them. And at the top of the thigh bit, I'm going to put one on just as like safety, if you know what I mean. Just to keep it like, stop it from like flying the open in the wind. So I got that. That's for the night time. That's for the girl I need. I did buy another one from Shane, which I've never sent back. But I'm going to keep it because it is nice and it was cheapest chips in the seal so got that still in its bag like I see oh Christ I've got to wait a minute I'm just going to get here and get all this stuff is that right? sorry about this but it's a bit um, is that Right, and that, right. Sorry about this. I'm like, I'm like sitting on the arm of my chair. <laughs> oh, it's getting quite long, this video, mind. I hope it doesn't end up cutting off. Because sometimes it does. But if it does, I'll, re I'll do another bit to it and I'll say sorry. Because I don't know how to, like, splice them out. Oh, look at that. So, I've got this other dress it's actually quite nice it's a wrap a wrap top but not a wrap bottom which I, do, I prefer and this was like t 12 pound and they've got little sequins so I'm thinking of keeping this one for like a Christmas or something because the other one's more dressy than this this is still dressy 
and like you see it's got a, a wrap over top and it's got like an underskirt with like a sheer fabric with sequins on but the only little sequins, the tiny little ones so I didn't like the way it fitted at the waist up here at the bust but I solved that problem when I get my hands on it I went on Amazon and they sell sequin belts like that I know the sequins are a bit different but it just goes uh, how much was it like that and it looks nice and it just draws in the waist a bit so it gives you a bit of a waist and I got two of them and it was like six pound or something too so Amazon for your belts even Timo sell Timo belts are really quite good the last like, ones I've got a couple of them right um so I went on to Shein and I had a sale on the Frida Kahlo line so I went to be fucking Frida Kahlo nuts and I got this dress and I love it I love the pattern it's square neck and it's got not too keen on these sleeves that's the only thing the bit bitey you know here and I'd, square necks do tend to set suit us because I haven't got like fat like shoulders I haven't got big shoulders or anything like that so they don't like make us look like a fucking man mountain it's got elasticated waist here just here under just underneath the bust so it folds quite nicely and it hits us mid calf you see and I love the pattern I love the birds and it's got monkeys in places and it's got like the Frido Carlo face there you go like I see I love Frido Carlo I've been a big fan of hers for years she was like a fascinating woman this was believe it or not this was seven pound something and then I got an extra 20% off my order so this it brought us down to like six pound or something for this dress so we're well, hey uh, oh no 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 right, this is the rest of this stuff I did order a Peter Carl Nike because this was seven pound something I thought I could do any right but it's so heavy so I'm thinking winter nighty it's just a shirt nighty if I could get away with it, I would wear it as a dress. If it didn't have the white piping, I would belt it and wear it as a shirt dress because it's long enough and it's big enough. It's huge. And like I say, this was £7. It's just a shirt night. It's got like a nice sort of pattern in her face because like I say, she was a very strong woman. Very striking looking as well. And... I'll explain her life one day because she's a very, very interesting woman. Um, and it's just beautiful. Mm, yeah, and this was a £7.59 and I got another 20% off. So it was like that. It came, it was about £6. £6, you know what I mean? For, and it's a very, very weighty night, so this will be great for the winter, I think. So that's my new winter and he all sorted. I'm trying to th uh, stick that there because it's getting in the way. I'll stick it in there with it. I need to sort all these out and hang them up if I can find fucking room. I've got that much stuff. It's my own fault. I'm, I think I'm... I did buy this. This was supposed to be ten, not even ten pound. It's just like a kimono. I'm not that keen on the, I don't know about the fabric, but I know I got it cheaper than what it was on price. I like the colours, it's like a black background and I love, the flowers look like stitching, stitched on some of them. And the north though, it's just printed, it's really nice. It's comfortable the way. I'm thinking of taking on my holiday and using it like as a beach. You know, over my swimming costume, which I need to get a new one. I've got a couple, but I want the one with cherries on. 
So I've seen one on Amazon, it's like a skirted one, which is fine for me because it hates a fucking the saggy horse. Which is a sign of times, you know what I mean? To me, old age creeping up and shit. But the. Ah, oh, man. Sorry about this, I'm getting very confused. Oh, right. Oh. Um, I did order a couple of pair of earrings off Sheehan, and they do have some crackers. I bought these ones because I really like them, and they like look like tattoos. <laughs> Mom, and I love them. I think they'd be nice mothers the earrings, mm -hmm. but I just like the style of them. I keep getting messages, so if I go and like that, I'm trying to read them because they're coming that way. <laughs> Got them earrings. We can go in a minute. Um, I think I'm nearly finished in the thingy one. I did buy this T-shirt, and it was supposed to be £7, and I got it for like £4 something. It's a Fleetwood Mac T-shirt. It's not. It looks big, but it ain't big on. It's a Fleetwood Mac Dreams, so... I really like that. That's to for me holiday. Anything in here? No, nothing in there. The oh, all these shame bags. I'm gonna keep these for me holiday and put my shoes and stuff like that in because the good quality and the same as the ones from Timu sometimes. They're really good. Putting dresses in like you you want to keep separate like my evening dress thing. Be brilliant in them. That's tiny. I suppose it'll do for dramas. Not that my knickers are that small. -like. I've got these ones, but they need to be put on hoops for some strange reason. They weren't on the hoops. And they wouldn't. But I do like them. These are like the, the tattoo ones as well. So I'll do them. I don't like them on the hoops. I think I'm going to put them on normal ones I'm gonna have to hold up I'm getting a phone call um I'm going to, I'm going to shout off because I won't have time to do a team because I've got a call coming so I'm going to do this one and then go because I've got something important coming up so sorry about that um and the last thing I got was this Frida Kahlo pillar case and this was £2.50 and I got it for under £2 and that is my haul and all of the haul. I know I said I've got a little bit of a Timo haul but I've got another one coming so I think I'll keep that and do a bigger Timo one for you. So that is my haul and all of the haul. I'm sorry I am going to have to go now because I've got this call to take. So you know what I'm going to see? I'm going to say be good, be kind, but more support. Be excellent each other. And you know what? Just be nice to you. And you know what? Have a fantastic weekend. Bye. <laughs>